Two years ago, I started training floor again. It was not going to be easy. It's a bit of a shock to my back doing punches again on floor. This was the first hurdle I ran into. The risk of injury was going to increase. I've always had recurring back pain throughout my entire career, so restarting floor was going to only increase the risk of injury in my back. So the first step in this floor program was to get physically ready for it. This meant increasing the strength in my back and in my legs. And quite honestly, this took a lot of time. I not only needed to get physically ready, but I needed to get mentally ready. One of the main things that held me back on floor was mental blocks. I found the main way to get rid of my mental blocks was eliminating stress from floor. This meant I needed to have fun. Instead of having a very strict approach like I do with pommel horse training, I had to keep floor a lot more relaxed and enjoyable. And the way I really enjoyed floor most was training with other people that were also quite good on floor. At this point I wasn't really training with anybody so I sought out different opportunities. I went to Sweden to train with my friend David Rumbudis who is a great floor worker. I went across to England to train with my teammate Adam Steele and then Eamon started to train with me a lot more so it was great to have that support from all of those people from around the world. I surrounded myself with people that challenged me but in a fun, relaxed way. The first challenge I set myself was the national championships in 2022, only nine months into deciding I want to go back to floor. I could do all of my tumbles individually fine, but when I put them into a routine together, they just didn't work. My consistency was not there. I barely got any clean routines done in the lead up to this competition, and that's not how I like to do my gymnastics. So with very little surprise, I did fall in that routine at the national championships. It was still great to get back to competing on floor and get that valuable experience, but we knew there was a lot of work to be done in terms of my consistency. I guess I learned that this would take a lot more than nine months to get ready for floor. I really needed to trust the process. And I guess the next step of this process was going back to basics. It was clear that when it came to doing full routines, I had very little basics to rely on. So we focused in on my weak areas. After doing basics for many months, even downgrading my routine, I eventually got back up to that 15.9 start value. And as soon as I went back to that more difficult start value, the routine was so much easier because I had those basics that I could rely on. The routine was finally ready. At this point in the year, there were no competitions that I could put myself forward to to compete floor. So I had to think. I thought, where's the next opportunity that I could replicate a competition as much as possible? Something like a podium training. What competition has their podium training packed out with audience? Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Oui, oui. <laughs> it was the Paris World Cup. This was our opportunity. Dans quelques instants, nous allons vous présenter les démonstrations de sécurité en langue anglaise et toute votre attention est reçue. Merci. Bonjour. Welcome to Paris. Thank you. Yeah. We are in Paris. Beautiful view over the arena. It is an early start this morning. We have podium training. So I can't wait to get out there, train with other world-class gymnasts. That's something I just love about these trips. And put everything into this session and hopefully leave a happy man.
is probably the best floor routine I've ever done. So of course after the Paris World Cup our focus went elsewhere. We had a world title to win on Palma Horse or something. After that competition I wanted to go straight back to training. So the focus switched to floor again. And I knew that there was possibly my biggest opportunity on floor yet. This was our national trials. The trials that decide which athletes compete internationally for Ireland. You need to hit a set score and you also need to come top two if you want to be in for a chance to compete. I needed to do well at these trials if I wanted to prove that I could bring home medals on floor and on pommel horse. It's been a while since I competed on floor. We smashed these floor trials. My first time competing floor in over a year. If you've been following this YouTube channel for the past year, you'll see the amount of effort that I have been putting into floor and the amount of progress that we made. And that progress paid off on this day. It was one of the best routines I've ever done. And it really, I wasn't expecting my best performance because of the time off we took from floor when we were competing at the world championships only on Palma horse. We did it. Got the highest score of the day in those trials and I think this has proved that I'm ready to take on the best in the world on floor. And although we got the job done at the weekend, there's still more work to be done. So let's head to the gym. Yeah. So now is a fun time in the training program on floor. We know we can do that routine very well. We can start to look at some upgrades for the floor routine and this will hopefully move us from that potential world final into potential world medals. So behind me right now there's a stack of mats. So if I can do say a two and a half forwards onto that stack of mats then there's potential there for a triple twist forwards and we're hoping to apply that to pretty much every tumble. I'm super excited for the next opportunity I get on floor. I really enjoy the challenge that it brings me and hopefully when the time is right I'll get that opportunity to compete internationally on floor. I hope this is showing though that the progress on floor or any aspect in gymnastics does not come easy. There's different challenges you need to overcome but as long as you trust the process and enjoy the process as well then you'll eventually get to your main goal. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you want to support the channel, the link to the Patreon is in the description. But I hope everyone has a great day. Stay positive, keep smiling. I'll catch you guys in the next video.